the universe will be expanding in 22 billion years. It'll be expanding faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it. And it'll just rip. And I'm terrified by this. This is the moment the universe has been waiting for. The star Antares, a red supergiant 700 times the size of our sun, is on the brink of a monumental explosion. It is going to be one of the most spectacular shows in history. When it happens, it could outshine the full moon and even rival the brightness of entire galaxies. It's a star also that is on the verge of death. This supernova will be one of the most spectacular events in cosmic history. Visible even in the daytime. But when will it happen? How will it change the night sky? Stars, as I tell students, are, are a lot like people. Uh, as they age, they tend to expand a bit. And what does it mean for the future of space exploration? Let's take a closer look at the science behind Antares' final act. The life and size of Antares. This red supergiant known as Antares is a true giant of the night sky. At 700 times the size of our sun, it is one of the largest stars in our galaxy. To give you a sense of its magnitude, if Antares were placed at the center of our solar system, its surface would stretch past Mars. Imagine a star so massive that it would reach the fourth planet from the sun. Its size alone is enough to evoke awe, but there's more to this star than just its scale. Antares sits approximately 604 light years away from Earth, making it relatively close in cosmic terms, especially for a star of such enormity. Its brightness fluctuates between 0.88 and 1.1 in apparent magnitude, making it one of the brightest stars visible to the naked eye. While these fluctuations are subtle to the human eye, they serve as a sign of the star's dynamic nature, constantly shifting and changing as it nears the end of its life. But these fluctuations aren't just random. They are a precursor to the impending collapse of this massive star, signaling the start of a dramatic transformation that will eventually lead to a supernova. What happens during a supernova? A supernova is one of the most violent and awe-inspiring events in the universe. It marks the explosive death of a star. But what exactly happens? Supernovas are a big, giant dramatic end to a star's life. As Antares nears the end of its life, it will exhaust its nuclear fuel, hydrogen, and helium in its core. Without these fuels to sustain the fusion reactions that keep the star stable, gravity takes over. The core collapses under its immense weight, triggering an unstoppable chain reaction. As the core collapses, the star's outer layers are violently expelled into space, creating an explosion that releases an unfathomable amount of energy. The burst of energy is so intense that it can momentarily outshine entire galaxies. This explosion, which can occur in a matter of seconds, sends shock waves rippling through the universe at nearly 30 million miles per hour. The resulting light is so bright that it can even be seen during the day. Along with the light, a supernova releases a torrent of radiation. This is not just light, it's energy that forges heavier elements, like gold, silver, and uranium. These elements are expelled into the cosmos, enriching the interstellar medium and contributing to the creation of new stars, planets, and even life as we know it. It's a process that powers the very building blocks of the universe. A galactic forge. Supernovae are not just the death of a star. They are the cosmic forges where new elements are created. During the explosion of Antares, Heavier elements such as gold, platinum, and uranium will be forged in the heart of the star. These elements, which are vital to life as we know it, are released into space, scattering across the universe. This stellar explosion acts like a factory, producing the building blocks that form new stars, planets, and even life. The distribution of these elements is not random. As the shock waves of the supernova travel through space, 
They seed the surrounding gas and dust clouds, enriching them with the materials necessary for future generations of stars and planets to form. This process is what fuels the cycle of stellar birth and death. Stars are born, they burn out, and then they explode, leaving behind the very elements that will one day create new worlds. For astronomers, the supernova of Antares offers a rare opportunity to study the creation and distribution of these heavy elements in real time. This event will provide invaluable data about how stars evolve, how they produce these elements, and how these elements are spread across the cosmos. It's a chance to witness the universe replenishing itself, ensuring the continuation of life and matter across vast stretches of space and time. Antares and Mars, the ancient rivalry. The name Antares itself carries a piece of history. In ancient Greek, it means rival of Mars, a name that has stood the test of time due to its striking resemblance to the red planet. The star's deep red hue, which mirrors the color of Mars, caught the attention of early astronomers who saw in it a connection to their world. Mars, the god of war in Roman mythology, and Antares, the rival of Mars, became intertwined in human storytelling. This ancient linkage between the two red celestial bodies is a fascinating reflection of how people throughout history have looked up to the night sky, finding meaning and patterns that connect the cosmos to their own lives. Ancient astronomers used stars like Antares to navigate the night, relying on their steady brightness to guide their journeys. Over time, Antares became a part of cultural mythology across various civilizations, revered for both its beauty and its symbolism. But beyond the stories and myths, Antares serves as a reminder of our place in the universe, an eternal fixture in the vastness of space. As we now watch it near its end, we are reminded that these stars, once viewed as mere navigation tools, are more than that. They are cosmic giants with their ustinies, shaping the future of the universe long after their light fades. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Binary Systems and Stellar Death Antares doesn't travel alone in the cosmos. It belongs to a binary system paired with a companion star known as Antares B. Binary systems like this are crucial to understanding stellar evolution. The interaction between the two stars can influence their aging processes, mass loss, and ultimately how they will meet their fate. In such a system, the gravitational pull between the two stars can lead to dramatic consequences, such as material being transferred from one star to the other. This interaction can even affect the timing and intensity of the star's eventual death. For Antares, this dynamic relationship with its companion star plays a role in the star's final moments. As Antares exhausts its nuclear fuel, its massive size and unstable core will collapse, triggering a supernova. But it's the gravitational effects of Antares B that could modify the explosion, potentially altering its brightness or even the type of remnant left behind, such as a neutron star or black hole. The study of binary systems like that of Antares and Antares B provides valuable insights into how stars evolve and die. It's a key piece of the puzzle for astronomers, offering a deeper understanding of how the most massive stars end their lives. The unfolding of this cosmic drama will teach us more about the intricate dance of celestial bodies and the forces that govern them. The next nova, T. Corona Borealis. While the supernova of Antares is the main event to look forward to, it's not the only stellar explosion in the making. In the Northern Hemisphere, another exciting event is brewing in the constellation of Corona Borealis. T. Corona Borealis, a binary system consisting of a red giant and a white dwarf, is on the brink of a nova, a less powerful but still dramatic stellar explosion. Unlike supernovae, which mark the death of a star, a nova occurs when a white dwarf star pulls material from its companion, a red giant, eventually leading to a thermonuclear explosion on the surface of the white dwarf. While a nova is not as destructive as a supernova, it is still a spectacular event. The upcoming nova from T. Corona Borealis will be visible to the naked eye, providing a rare opportunity for stargazers to witness a stellar explosion in real time. 
This event is expected to be bright enough to outshine the stars around it, temporarily becoming one of the most visible objects in the night sky. The Nova from T Corona Borealis offers a unique chance to observe the interaction between two stars in a binary system and see firsthand the process that leads to such explosions. It's another example of how stellar evolution continues to unfold before our eyes, offering insights into the cycles of birth, life, and death in the universe. Why Antares Matters – Scientific Opportunities the potential explosion of Antares presents an unprecedented scientific opportunity. Supernovae are rare events, especially in our galaxy, and the last recorded supernova in the Milky Way occurred centuries ago, in 1604. Since then, our galaxy has been relatively quiet, at least from our perspective. This makes Antares' impending explosion all the more significant. If it were to happen within our lifetime, it would provide a wealth of data and insights into the end stages of a massive star's life. With modern technology, astronomers are better equipped than ever to study such an event in real time. Telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope, Chandra X-ray Observatory, and the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to observe Antares' final moments in unprecedented detail. These instruments allow scientists to track changes in brightness, temperature, and chemical composition as the star nears its collapse. They can also monitor the shock waves and radiation released during the explosion, gaining valuable insights into the physics behind stellar death. The explosion of Antares would offer a unique opportunity to confirm existing models of stellar collapse, refine our understanding of the mechanisms behind supernovae, and improve our models of star formation and evolution. In short, it would be a treasure trove of data for astronomers and astrophysicists to analyze for decades to come. Antares is safe, but spectacular. While the impending supernova of Antares is certainly an exciting event for astronomers, there's no need to worry about any potential dangers. Antares is located approximately 604 light years away from Earth, which places it well outside the 50 light year danger zone for supernovae. To put this into perspective, for a supernova to have any serious effects on Earth, it would need to occur much closer, within about 50 light years. At this distance, the radiation and shock waves from the explosion would have little to no impact on our planet. However, despite its safety, the explosion will still be a spectacular sight. If Antares goes supernova in our lifetime, its brightness will rival entire galaxies, making it visible even during the daytime. The light and radiation released during the explosion will not harm us, but they will provide a rare and awe-inspiring spectacle that will be observed by astronomers, stargazers, and the general public alike. The supernova will also offer a unique chance to study the final moments of a massive star. While Antares' explosion won't pose any danger to Earth, it will still be one of the most significant astronomical events of our time. Observing it will provide invaluable insights into the processes that govern stellar evolution, giving us a glimpse into the life cycle of some of the largest stars in the universe. Compared to Betelgeuse, another red supergiant, Antares may be on the brink of a supernova, but it's not the only red supergiant that has captured the imagination of astronomers. Another star, Betelgeuse, located in the constellation Orion, has also been under close observation due to its potential to explode in a supernova. Like Antares, Betelgeuse is a massive red supergiant nearing the end of its life. Though they share many similarities, the two stars have different characteristics that make each one unique. Betelgeuse has been the subject of much speculation in recent years due to a sudden dimming event in 2019, leading many to wonder if the star was about to explode. While it hasn't yet gone supernova, Betelgeuse is expected to do so in the relatively near future. When it does, its explosion will be visible even in the daytime, just like Antares. Both stars offer astronomers a chance to study the death of a massive star up close. However, while Betelgeuse is located about 642 light years away from Earth, slightly closer than Antares, both stars are far enough away that their supernovae won't pose any threat to our planet, yet their explosions will be extraordinary events that will enrich our understanding of the life cycle of massive stars. What comes after? Neutron stars, black holes, and cosmic rebirth. After a supernova, the fate of the star depends on its mass. 
For stars like Antares, the explosion can lead to the formation of either a neutron star or a black hole. If the star's core is massive enough, it will collapse into a black hole, a region of space where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. If the core is less massive, it will collapse into a neutron star, an incredibly dense remnant of the star's core. Neutron stars are fascinating objects with a density so extreme that a teaspoon of material would weigh billions of tons. Black holes, on the other hand, are more mysterious and continue to challenge our understanding of physics. Studying the aftermath of a supernova can unlock secrets about these enigmatic objects. Regardless of the outcome, Antares' explosion will scatter heavy elements throughout the cosmos, creating the building blocks for new stars, planets, and even life. It's a cosmic cycle of death and rebirth playing out across the universe. This supernova, when it occurs, will mark a pivotal moment in our understanding of the universe. The death of Antares is not just the end of a star, but the beginning of new cosmic journeys, as the elements it scatters across space will give birth to new stars and planets. For astronomers and stargazers alike, it will be a once-in-a-lifetime event offering a rare glimpse into the life cycle of the universe's most massive stars. So keep your eyes on the sky. The show is just beginning, and it's one you won't want to miss.